all right so uh, uh, the Qt has already been installed let's check once if the installation process was completed successfully or not uh, so let me just go to the you know downloads folder once again uh, it's here okay now let me just uh, run the command this one with the mirror I'm running it let's just submit let's just wait to complete the process next okay here it is if you'll select this it should uh, show the uh, I mean the folder or the directory exists already uh, so yeah the same error we are pressing here uh, so but definitely it has been already installed okay so now I'll just cancel it uh, just check if the Qt creator is there yeah it is there and the version is 6.8.3 alright so uh, as we have already installed uh, Qt successfully let's go to the Qground control and build it okay so I had downloaded the Qground control inside this folder we had created one custom QGC folder earlier so I'll just go inside the customs QGC and we had used this command to clone it okay so uh, the same command you use just use it and clone this folder and then go inside this Qground control folder and just check whether you are on the masters version or not you can run the command git tag sorry git uh, branch hmm. dubious ownership okay let's do one thing uh, just go back and remove the entire directly okay uh, okay so we are not in the super user so I'll just go to the super user uh, heli clear now just go inside the QGC you can uh, give that permission on the you know uh, uh, the, the default user also that's not a problem uh, since I had downloaded and set up everything on the super user I'm using this uh, so inside QGround control now let's check the branch again and that's the command issue ah okay so we are on the masters branch alright let me just increase the size of this window slightly okay now let's check Mm, whether all these sub modules are synced properly or not everything is done all right now uh, uh, what uh, we can do is uh, we can follow uh, you know uh, the compilation process using uh, two methods in the first method you can use the Qt creator directly okay uh, for example you can open the Qt creator just open projects go inside the custom QGC Q ground control and select the CMake list file and the entire Q ground control project will be imported okay so once that is done you do the configuration and it will you know load all the files here you can uh, I know once it is loaded you can compile and build it and run it okay but I'm not uh, uh, focusing uh, on this particular process right now I'll just close it uh, right now I mean if I'll compile I may face some of the errors related to CMake and other configurations so when you're using this uh, you need to set all the libraries properly like GCC G++ CMake all those libraries you need to configure properly with the Qt creator but I'm not using it so I'll just turn it off right now we are using the command based compilation process this process okay so 
uh, we are already inside the QRound control. Uh, let's just configure it by copy paste. This I mean just configure it by copying and pasting this particular command here in the terminal and run it. Okay, so here it is showing no such file or directory because our Qt is not in that root directory. So you just need to check where is it. Mm, okay, so let's find out. Let's probably I install that inside this folder. So my Qt folder is here. Okay, so I'll just go and replace the path. Okay, so home and this now if i'll run it should compile okay so it's compiling let's wait to complete the compilation process it may clone some of the you know uh, some modules which were not uh, cloned earlier uh, so let's wait for that and let's complete the process also it depends upon the system speed it may compile faster or slower but ultimately it should compile it successfully okay so let's wait for that meanwhile uh, we can check uh, uh, the you know uh, the other 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 uh, libraries which you have to install using uh, you know this command uh, you just need to go inside the qround control uh, folder and run this you know uh, script so if some kind of you know additional packages or any libraries are missing the uh, that that particular library or the, those packages actually will be automatically installed okay so if you are facing some kind of error like some kind of library is missing uh, you just run this script again okay I have already uh, run this uh, script so I might not face any kind of you know uh, error here and it will compile successfully so let's just wait for the compilation process to complete and uh, then uh, we'll uh, run this uh, you know build command okay okay it seems the configuration is done now let's build it copy this command and paste here okay so the building process has started uh, let's just wait for it to complete properly uh, I hope I will not face any kind of error because I already installed all the required libraries and packages okay so let's just wait and see One more thing I would like to mention here is uh, sometimes it happens like even if you're running this particular you know the uh, script uh, some of the libraries uh, might not install or maybe for a different version of the QGC uh, those libraries are not compatible so you can install those uh, you know QT related libraries manually uh, using apt and uh, I mean that will work that's not a problem i uh, faced some of the issues when actually i switched the branch from master to uh, the you know the last stable version which was version 4.4.4 so when i shifted to that particular branch actually uh, a lot of libraries were missing so i had to install manually but uh, when you are on the master i don't think uh, you'll have to worry about the libraries you just need to you know run this script and it will uh, immediately pick up those libraries and compile properly without any error so let's just wait for this and uh, let it complete and then we can uh, run the QGC which we just compiled here <clears throat>
all right so I think we are at the end of the compilation right now uh, finally there is no error uh, it's linking the executables and we have the uh, uh, Q ground control Q ground control uh, um, in which we just compiled okay so finally the compilation is done now let's run it and check whether everything is working fine or not okay so it's saying we are on the root so that's why this error is there let's uh, open another terminal and go inside QGC and run the same command and here it is our custom made uh, Q ground control everything is working absolutely fine we have all the uh, you know tabs and the settings that we see on the stable version right okay so that's all uh, in this video uh, in the uh, next video what we'll be discussing is the uh, you know uh, the addition of uh, uh, the custom mavlink libraries so let me go inside the custom QGC okay we have this key ground control here so in this one right now the default mavlink libraries are running okay uh, let's say uh, uh, we want to add a uh, custom message in the mavlink library then uh, uh, where exactly we have to add that and then what is the process and how exactly we'll receive the custom message from px4 on uh, this custom made uh, qgc uh, all those things we'll discuss in the next video till then enjoy bye bye